Tomorrow at noon, law enforcement will hold a prayer vigil for fallen officer Perhans Desai at the Henry County Police Department. His funeral is set for Sunday. Officer Desai died after being shot last week. The person accused of pulling the trigger, Jordan Jackson, killed himself Tuesday night while surrounded by police. CBS 46's Ashley Thompson is live for us tonight in McDonough after officers have just announced additional arrests in this case. And Ashley, you spoke with the officer's sister today. I, I'm sure they are ready to find some justice in this. Yeah, she is grieving. She is shaken up. She tells me she will never be the same after she received that phone call on Thursday that her brother had been shot. My brother is never going to come back. Divya Desai remembers the last time she spoke with her younger brother, Parhams. It was the Festival of Lights. It was Diwali, believe it or not. On Thursday, Divya says she spoke with him over the phone for a few minutes. We had a quick um, conversation um, and he quickly, within 30 seconds, gave his wife the phone because he got a call <laughs> and he had to go. And he said, as he walked away, he said, I love you, Digu. Or he, he told his wife, like, tell my sister I love her. Within the hour, Officer Desai was shot while responding to a domestic call. Police say the shooter, 22-year-old Jordan Jackson. Jackson was on the run for days before law enforcement tracked him down to these Clayton County apartments. When SWAT closed in on him, police say he took his life. When we got the call, there were screams, there were shouts, because there is no way I can go to that funeral on Sunday knowing that guy is still out there. 19 year old Madison Troy and 25 year old Caitlin Finley are now being charged with helping Jackson escape capture. Video shows the moments the women were taken to the Henry County Police Department. <laughs> Finley cursing at officers and calling them pigs while Troy cries to see her grandmother. Henry County Sheriff Reginald Scandrit says more arrests are coming. If you had anything to do with aiding or betting this criminal, we're coming to find you regardless of where you are. There's no relief, says Divya, but she tells me she is happy Jackson can't hurt another family. I'm so thankful for Henry County, the community, um, the Indian community, all, all sorts of community, the, co the community that he lived in. Every single person that has a story to tell has helped me understand why and who my brother was. And I thought I knew him the most. Now, Officer Desai's funeral will be on Sunday at the Henry County Performing Arts Center. A viewing will take place between 9 and 11, with the funeral starting at 11 promptly. And like you ladies said earlier, a vigil will be held tomorrow at noon at the Henry County Police Department to help the community heal. For now, I am live in Henry County, Ashley Thompson, CBS 46 News. Just